speak to the future of our country again together. And this will be on matters that are contained in the bill and matters that the people of Kenya have canvassed in the conversation that has been going on. In this regard as well, I am directing for immediate further austerity measures to reduce expenditure, starting with the office of the president, the entire presidency, and extending to the entire executive arm of government. Operational expenditure in the presidency be reduced to remove allocations for the confidential fort, reduce travel, hospitality, purchase of motor vehicles, renovations, and other expenditures. This will cover the entire presidency and also the executive arm of government. I also propose that equally parliament, the judiciary, and county governments working with the national treasury also undertake budget cuts and austerity to ensure that we do live within our means, respecting the very loud message that is coming from the people of Kenya. And let me confirm that I have discussed with many uh, stakeholders. I will be meeting some of them uh, shortly after this meeting on charting a way forward that makes sure that we carry the whole nation in this very important journey as we go into the future as a country. Let me also confirm that as we deal with austerity, the loud message on dealing firmly, decisively, and expeditiously with corruption is a matter that we have discussed and we have agreed that it will take the front banner as we go into the future. We will continue to do this and carry out this very important conversation. And I want to remind us that we should proceed within the foundational principles upon which our nation is founded, namely constitutionalism, adherence to the rule of law, and respect for constitutional institutions. We must continue to operate within the parameters of the law. I thank you. I will uh, take a few questions, three questions to be specific. Thank you, Your Excellency. And the first question will start with Elizabeth Mutuku from TV47. Good evening. My question is on young leaders from the Gen Z uh, generation who were abducted yesterday and uh, the, uh, the day before yesterday. What happens to that? Second, there were young people who were killed during the demonstrations. What do you speak of that as the head of state? Thirdly, how do we move forward on the budget cuts, especially now that you've said that uh, we're going to have austerity measures, yes, but how then do we secure development? Thank you very much. Please. No, no, it's okay. So, I, um, I have said young people, six to be exact, six people yesterday lost their lives, very unfortunately, 
they shouldn't have lost their lives. And I have said it is a very unfortunate situation. I wish that would not have happened. And there is a framework that will make sure that those six Kenyans who died yesterday will be accounted for. Number two, I did promise the country that there will be no extrajudicial killings going forward. And ever since I came into office, there is not one incident of extrajudicial killing. What you said about abduction are statements that were attributed to some of our civil society groups, but all the people they mentioned are, have since been found in police custody, and those that were already processed were already released. On the matter of development that you have said, minus the finance bill, it means that some of the development programs amounting to 200 